Hey guys. So I was getting annoyed with these flashlights. And they are kind of like uh, pretty cheap flashlights from uh, eBay, but uh, they're decent, uh, decent lights today. And you can get one for like five bucks or maybe even cheaper, like this stupid ultra fire. But I was really getting annoyed with those modes. First they started with uh, you know high, uh, middle, and low, and off. Then they added the strobe to it, and now they added the SOS to it, and it's just so annoying because to get the back to the high mode you have to switch through the five modes, and I was just really starting to throw these flashlights in the trash. But uh, then I discovered, well, discover. I just find out that some of these flashlights, when you let them sit for a while and let's say you end up in a middle mode or a low mode they will go back in a high mode well obviously there is some kind of discharge of capacitor that will actually uh, take care of this uh, this problem right so some of these they do have the, the um, like a resistor over the capacitor and they then they will go into the high mode but some of them they don't, or most of them they don't. Most of the cheap ones, okay? So this is one of them. This is a, this is actually driver and a LED emitter, which is a, the XML T6, which is kind of like the most common chip today on an LED. And when you open it, well, this just pretty much pop out. I don't want to put it back right now. I got a lot of soda to it. I mean, wire soldered to it, but uh, this is uh, pushed in. You can just get a knife or a screwdriver and just pop it out. Okay. I mean, uh, this one had this uh, spring here that was soldered on here, so I had to un unsolder it and uh, just pop out this little button which has a bunch of uh, electronics on the uh, other side. So. What you want to do here, very simple thing, you have to locate the capacitor. And the capac and all of these have actually uh, numbers and letters. And the C is for capacitor, R is for a resistor, I guess it makes sense, right? Whatever. And uh, the U1 and U2 is for um, the, the chip. Now the U2 chip. It's actually the chip that will switch these uh, modes in between the modes, and the C2 capacitor is the sucker that will hold the power for the U2 chip to hold the modes when you shut the flashlight and turn it on again. Let's say next day, it will not go into the high mode again. It will go into the next mode, which is really annoying. So, if you locate this capacitor, which is right here, in this case, okay, on this driver, which is the XML, XML uh, T6. Uh, let me see, actually. Yes, this, the C2 is right here next to the red wire. In this case, okay. But, uh, like, uh, like on the... Um, uh, XHP drivers, they, they it's the same thing. They just look, look at it in dif different location, but it's a C2 capacitor, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be in many different drivers. Actually, many other drivers, it's going to be a C2 capacitor. So what I did, I took the pencil, and this is actually pretty hard to do. You can just destroy this sucker, pretty much. Or put a blob of uh, uh, the solder over that, and that will go only in, into the one mode. But if you get a pencil, and I am using a number two pencil, and I just scraped over this thing, pretty much, uh, you know, the uh, the graphite is actually kind of like a resistor. It works like a resistor. So if, if, you, if you're going to be lucky enough and get, get enough of graphite over 
over this capacitor here to connect those two ends, then then uh, the flashlight will stay in a mode if you want to switch from one mode to another mode to another mode for a few seconds so you have a time to switch from mode to mode but then if you shut it off for maybe like five seconds or ten seconds it will go back to the high mode okay and I'm going to show it to you right now I already got the, the pencil on this uh, capacitor here so it, uh, it should work okay so let's see I just want to turn this around so you can see the light. Okay, so you go high, lower, low, strobe, SOS. And then high again. Okay, now if you go high, lower, low, now you're going to wait, let's say, I don't know, five seconds. Let's do it five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now it should go back to the high. It doesn't. That means uh, it, it needs a little more time. But okay, so now it should go in the strobe. I mean SOS. I'm sorry. After the strobe, so let's give it a little more time. And maybe I, I'm, I'm going to have to put a little more graphite on this thing. But it's actually those things are coated somehow, so it's not very easy to put the graphite on it. Um, maybe I might have to scrape it or something. Actually, it's a good idea. I'm going to scrape it with a knife and then uh, let's see what's going to happen now okay now it, you see it takes a little more time but now it's in a, in, a, in a high mode and it should go in SOS so one, two, three okay so this is a low mode so let's give it a little more time again And I mean, if you would just want to destroy this and have it in a high mode, it's fine too, but uh, maybe I should just take a piece of sandpaper and sand it over, because these are really smooth and that uh, the pencil doesn't work on it very well. So uh, if I get uh, sandpaper and sand it, then I'm pretty sure I'm going to get more graphite on top of this capacitor, and then it's going to be a, a smaller resistor, actually and it will discharge the, cap the capacitor faster okay so uh, let's try it again now we are in a low mode and it should go into the strobe so hopefully it's going to be discharged and it's going to go back into the high mode okay so let's see yes it is so that's good I mean you know it takes maybe I don't know 15-20 seconds but it goes back into the it goes back into the, the high mode after 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, maybe one minute, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. But it goes back into the high mode and that's very important. So I just want to, I'm sure that a lot of people is annoyed with this thing and, uh, you know, this is like a very simple, uh, easy fix. Good luck with it. Capacitor C2. That's what you have to worry about.